What the last episode of the Obi-Wan series showed us is, yes, Darth Vader still killing younglings 10 years later. It wasn't a Jedi youngling, but it was a very young man. That kid was, you know, probably just barely enjoying puberty, and he was already getting his neck snap from Darth Vader. Essentially, like I said in the review, I wanted to make this video to show a lot of people that Darth Vader was always this way. Me being a Star Wars comics fanatic, to many of you out there who read the comics like I do, you will know that Vader has always been this way. And now twice we have seen Darth Vader be brought back to prominence like he was in the comics and like he most probably is, although not that much as we've seen in 2020, he is much more mellow, but the 2017 Darth Vader is a force to be reckoned with. I don't think anybody expected him to be that ruthless during his young days. He was. He definitely was. He exceeded my expectations. This is why I think Darth Vader in Rogue One and Darth Vader now in the Kenobi series is the true Vader. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Many people know Vader from the original trilogy, of course. In the original trilogy, he was ruthless, but he was kind of mellowed down. Granted, he choked a commander to death, he tortured Han Solo, but can you really compare that to what we saw in Episode 3, for example? or what we saw in Rogue One. Actually, I can pretty much tell you that that's how I've known Vader for a long time because I read the comics. If you guys are not familiar with the uh, 2015 Darth Vader comic series, the 2015 ones cover Vader post New Hope and before Empire Strikes Back. That's when we see a hard Vader, but not a completely ruthless one. In the 2015, Vader is kind of the original trilogy kind of Vader. The 2020 comic series uh, covers Vader after Empire Strikes Back, before Return of the Jedi. An older Vader, a wiser Vader, much more, as I said, mellowed down. The 2017 Darth Vader comic series covers Vader immediately after Order 66. He is angry, he is ruthless, he kills everybody in sight. If you think that that scene from the Kenobi series, him killing the dad and the kid, was very dark, do you know that Darth Vader intentionally broke a dam on a city and flooded the entire city? Not just a dad and a kid, he killed possibly hundreds if not thousands of people in a moment's notice just to manipulate a Jedi, Master Infala, who was trying to save the locals. He drowned men, women, children without hesitation. That's what we see in one of the first issues in the 2017 Darth Vader comic series. So you will forgive me if I have known this Vader for a long time. I said in the episode 3 review that even the younglings being killed in Revenge of the Sith we only saw a helpless kid and a lightsaber being ignited. In the Kenobi series, guys, we literally saw a kid's neck being snapped. They held on to that shot. They didn't just cut away. Similarly, in Rogue One, we saw a badass Darth Vader. That clip has millions of views on YouTube. People want to see this dark, brooding Vader. This Vader between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. This is the biggest, badass, ruthless villain that we all know and love. And if you want to see this Vader that was in Episode 3, Snapping Necks, you gotta read the 2017 comic series. It's all covered, of course, on my channel. I've covered every single issue of it. And it was a fantastic time, I gotta admit. 2020, the 2020 comic series started off pretty well, I could say, but yeah, it's it's been rough the last couple of series. It's not that interesting, and I kind of lost interest in them, to be honest. I'm gonna cover them at some point in time, but, you know, it's just disappointing to see Vader being mellowed out, and then they bring out this Vader in the Kenobi series. It's just marvelous, and... I love dark stuff in Star Wars, especially since Disney, I understand, I mean, they're not gonna go all out, they're not HBO, for example, but Disney really risked it all with that Darth Vader appearance. They showed kids' necks being snapped on a Disney channel. You gotta hand it to him, you know? For all its ups and downs, I love that Darth Vader's name and reputation is being preserved during this tumultuous time. As we know, the Imperial era, 
the dominant Imperial era, as it's known, between, as I said, Revenge of the Sith, New Hope, this is when Vader was at his angriest. You know, he just couldn't cope with Padme's death. He constantly, as we see in the comics, was trying to bring her back and failing. He failed in his search for Kenobi all those years. Now we see 10 years later, he succeeded. Yes, Darth Vader is angry. You got to see it firsthand. Incidentally, that's the scene right there that I was referring to in Rogue One. You can see here Vader is ruthless. He's cutting up those rebels. He is killing everybody without mercy. The same thing we saw in the Kenobi series. I'm just going to show a couple of shots here of Darth Vader killing without mercy in the comics. By these images that I just showed you, to me, it isn't a surprise. Vader has always been dark. Even in Legends, we've seen Vader do terrible things. So comics have always been kind of the answer. If you've read the Legends comics, now if you're reading the canon comics, especially the 2017 one, you gotta love Dark Darth Vader. And I'm glad he's back. Episode 3 just brought him back officially. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.